Finland's flag was raised during a ceremony outside NATO headquarters in Brussels following their accession into the military alliance. Finland officially became the 31st member of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, known as NATO. This is the first expansion of NATO since North Macedonia joined the organization in 2020. According to the rules, NATO must see the unanimous consent of all the 30 member states before it admits any new members. Turkey first resisted, but on March the 30th, the Grand National Assembly of Turkey finally approved Finland's accession to NATO completing the approval of all 30 NATO member states. Later, Foreign Minister Pekka Havisto attended Finland's first NATO meeting as a member with NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg, warmly welcoming the Nordic country to the alliance. Finland shares a 1,340-kilometer border with Russia, so its membership doubles Russia's border with the world's biggest security alliance. Finland's membership represents a major change in Europe's security landscape. The move is a strategic and political blow to Putin, who has long complained about NATO's expansion towards Russia and partly used that as a justification for the invasion. So in Finland, it is building a 200-kilometer-long fence with, along the border of Russia with three-meter-high fence equipped with electronic sensors. This also marks how Finland is stepping away from Russia after it joined NATO. The fence is expected to take four years to complete, aiming to prevent illegal, Im illegal migrations from Russia. It will be erected at a border crossing point in the southeastern town of Imatra, as currently the border has only a few small fences to prevent cattle from crossing. The guards at the Imatra border crossing said that there are almost no illegal migrant crossing their part of the border now. Yet, even opposition leaders in Finland support the costly fence project. Chairwoman of Finns party, Rika Pura, said that the Finnish border guard has announced that the border fence is necessary as it has a long border but do not have enough human resources to control all of it. Finland shares a land border of 1,340 kilometers with Russia, the longest among European Union members. Meanwhile, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said that Finland's accession to NATO reflects the alliance's anti-Russian course and warned that Moscow will take necessary countermeasures. Peskov said the Kremlin believes it will further exacerbate the situation. Russia sees the NATO's expansion marking an encroachment on national interest of Russian Federation. Russia will closely monitor what will be going on in Finland and how NATO will use the territory of Finland for the deployment of weapons, equipment and infrastructure that is next to the border. Russia's measures will also be taken dependent on that. Russia sees that Finland's accession to NATO have a negative impact on Russian-Finnish bilateral relations. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky congratulated Finland on joining NATO in his daily evening address. Zelensky said it was a historic event that took for the entire Europe Atlantic community. He also said that as Finland becomes the 31st member of NATO, the alliance is getting stronger on the eastern flank. Zelensky congratulated all the people of Finland and Finnish president personally on a reliable security guarantee, which he underlined as a collective guarantee.